everyone today i'm going to teach you how to make a beautiful hand drum let's see what are the things that we are going to use to make this hand work pringles can rubber band sticky glitter paper used wrapping paper sticker card decorative tape glue ribbon ruler scissors paper blade marker pen a pen a stick beads and balloons okay now let's move on to the first step take the pringles can and put this rubber band around it like this and adjust the width you want Once you have adjusted the width to your liking, take out the marker pen. Draw a line along this rubber band. Now, let us separate this piece from this line using a paper knife. Whenever you need to use a sharp tool, ask your parents for help. Make a small cut this way and use the scissors to do the rest. Okay, now the shell of our drum is done. Next step, take out your wrapping paper. Now, I'm going to measure the width of my drum shell using a ruler. Once I measure the width, I'm going to cut a strip from my wrapping paper. This is the width that I'm going to use. Now, let's cut a column from this paper using this same width.
Okay, now let's cut this strip out of here. There you go. Now, let's make this drum shell beautiful using this strip. Now, let's paste this paper strip around our drum shell. Let's cut the extra piece from here. Apply a little glue here and paste it. we go now let's leave it on until it is completely dry now I'm going to make this border using a sticky glitter paper let's turn this paper to the other side and draw thin strips Draw two strips. Let's cut the strips off. There you go. Take your balloons now. Let's cut this part out of these balloons. This part.
there you go now the shell of our drum is dry enough to use our next step is we need to make four holes like this I'm going to use a one hole puncher you can use a paper knife instead please if you are using a sharp tool ask your parents help when you are punching the holes make sure these holes are facing one another from two sides There we go, our holes are done. Let's move on to the next step. Take your ribbon. If you like, you can use yarn. Put this ribbon through these holes. From this side and to that side and measure the length After measuring the length, let's cut this extra piece. There we go. If you like, you can use yarn instead of ribbons. going to attach three beads per a side you can use any different designs of beads you like okay let's attach the beads to this ribbon if you're using a broad ribbon let's use some glue Apply a little glue, take some glue to your fingertip and apply it here like this and roll it to make it thin. This way it will be easy for us to pass the ribbon through the bead. Now we go now repeat the same process to attach the other beads after attaching the beads tie a knot at the edge
all done. There we go. Now check the length of these beads whether it can hit the drum. Now let's attach the stick. Now I'm going to apply some glue on both sides using my glue gun. If you don't have a glue gun, you can use Chemifix glue or binder glue. This way it will stay still. Let's put some glue on both sides of the ribbon as well. Now our hand drum is nearly done. Take your balloons that we cut earlier. Now let's put this on to the both sides of our drum. Like this. Stretch the balloon. Carefully put it on. There you go. Okay. Now let's put on the other balloon to the other side of our drum. There you go. Now, to cover these parts, I'm going to use the strips that I cut earlier. Let's paste these strips around our drum. Separate this extra part by cutting it. Okay, now let's paste the other strip. 
there you go right a hand drum is almost done all right now to cover my handle I'm going to use decorative tape if you don't have decorative tape that's okay use your own ideas try out other ways to make your hand drum look more beautiful Now our handle is done. There you go. If you like, you can use stickers to paste on the middle of your drum. For this, I'm going to use star stickers. There we go. All right, our hand drum is done. Here are some other hand drums I made. Create this hand drum with your latest ideas. Also, you can make it using a yogurt cup. No need to worry about buying the same exact material. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, everyone. See you soon. There are many more musical instruments that you can make at home. So try out these as well. The Really Awful Musicians Story and Pictures by John Manders Once upon a time in a kingdom amazingly far away, music sounded incredibly, well, bad. The king couldn't even stand to listen to his own royal musicians. One at a time, they weren't so awful, but together they sounded horrible. The king couldn't face another evening of it. Enough! No more loud, soft, fast, 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 slow, screechy, bellowy, terrible musicians. Hire me some mimes, he thundered. He decreed that henceforth music would be banned throughout the kingdom, and anyone caught playing music would be fed to the royal crocodiles. The king's men-at-arms were everywhere, rounding up musicians. The royal crocodiles never had it better. In an out-of-the-way village, little Piffero played a tune on his pipe. Poot-poot, poot-poot-poot, thum, 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 went his drum. But the royal men-at-arms found his hiding place. Me, Charlemagne, Piffero whispered to an old dray horse grazing nearby. The horse's name wasn't really Charlemagne, but he liked the sound of it. He was proud of his mane. Piffero vaulted onto his back, and off he rode into the night. All night long he rode. Before dawn the next morning, Piffero and Charlemagne were greeted by a sound that was almost too fast to hear. I, Espresso, am the fastest musician in the kingdom. Fast, 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 blurred the mandolin player. I can play a three-minute waltz in just under 12 seconds. We're escaping from the king's soldiers, if you want to come with us, said Piffero. On they rode. Piffero's pipe went...
when his drum. Espresso's mandolin went. As the sun rose, Piffero, Charlemagne, and Espresso noticed a teeny tiny wee little tune that was almost too soft to hear. It was a little musician playing a tiny harp. I'm Serena the Silent, she whispered. I hope I'm playing quietly enough. What? asked Charlemagne and Espresso. Come with us if you don't want to be an appetizer for the royal crocodiles, said Piffero. So on they rode. Piffero's pipe went, went his drum, Serena's tiny harp went, Espresso's mandolin went. Around noon, they were nearly knocked over by sound waves. The sackbutt player paused for breath and said, Congratulate me, I, Fortissimo, won the loudest musician in Bombardi Award this morning. But Bombardi is at least three days' voyage from here, said Charlemagne. That's what makes it so impressive, boomed Fortissimo. Jump in the cart, sighed Piffero, and on they rode. Went Fortissimo's sackbutt. Piffero's pipe went, went his drum, Serena's harp went, Espresso's mandolin went. A few leagues down the road, they almost flattened the slowpoke inching along in front of them and going, Can't you go any faster? asked Charlemagne. No replied Lugubrio sadly. I started playing this particular piece when I was a boy, and I'm just now starting the middle section. Well, climb aboard. The king's crocodiles are hungry already, said Piffero. On they rode. Went Fortissimo's sackbutt. Went Lugubrio's contrabass recorder. Serena's harp went. Piffero's pipe went, went his drum, Espresso's mandolin went. All afternoon they played as they rode. They played fast, slow, loud, and soft, all at the same time. Finally, Charlemagne couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> Enough, you guys sound terrible. Why don't you all play together? <laughs> the musicians stopped and looked at each other. Then at the horse. Charlemagne drew five long lines in the dirt. These lines are us riding along. I'll make hoof prints on the lines to show high notes and low notes. The high notes will be up here. The low notes will be down here. And the middle notes will be in the middle. I'll mark time with this stick, so you'll know when to play the next note. <laughs> they looked at Charlemagne's hoof prints and followed his stick. While they played, each musician listened to the others. When they all played together, the music sounded beautiful for the first time ever. And then the king's coach came barreling down the road. Halt! cried the king. Do I hear musicians? Before the men-at-arms could grab them, Piffero, Espresso, Serena, Fortissimo, and Lugubrio started to play. Together. The men-at-arms applauded. Gadzooks, how lovely! cried the king. How would you like to play at my castle? You won't feed us to your crocodiles? asked Piffero. Not if you play like that, decided the king. They can eat the mimes. And so Piffero and his friends became the king's musicians in residence. And beautiful music was heard everywhere from then on.